This video is going to cover some muzzle velocity for a Ruger gunsight scout and we're going to compare that against a Ruger Frontier rifle that has a 16 inch barrel just like the scout and a uh, Savage that has a little bit longer barrel, 24 inch barrel. It's a police rifle. Um, I'll go over the each of the rifles here after we cover the chronograph data uh, just because most people are probably interested in the chronograph. Today we're going to be testing three loads. Um, Winchester 150 grain power point, Remington Core Lock 150 grain power point, and then also a hand load that I that I shoot as a 168 grain nozzle custom competition with a medium charge of Varget. So moving on to the data, here is the da uh, velocity data for the Winchester 150 grain bullet. Uh, in each one of these loads the, the 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 16 inch barrels are about 250 feet per second slower shooting bullet 250 feet per second slower compared to the lo longer 24 inch barrel so Winchester 150 grains coming in with the guns with the Ruger Scout almost 3,000 feet almost 2,700 feet per second the, the Frontier rifle about 50 feet per second lower and then the Savage coming in with a uh, 24 inch barrel coming in at 2900 feet per second. And the plus and the minus there is the 90% confidence interval around that average. Here's the Remington 150 grain uh, data. This coming in slightly higher than the Winchester. Uh, again the Gunsight Scout coming in just in over 2700 feet per second. The Frontier Rifle just under 2700 feet per second. And the Savage 2980 feet per second, so almost 3,000 feet per second. The uh, hand loaded 168 grain load was really kind of unimpressive, uh, coming in almost 2,500 feet per second on the gun sight scout, almost just under that, uh, just for the Frontier rifle and 2,700 for the Savage. Now, uh, 100, the, you know, the 308 is isn't really much of an eyebrow raiser when it comes to muzzle velocity anyway. Here's the summary stats, uh, shot by shot, for each of the loads. Here's the one chest, 150 grain. I went for six shots apiece, uh, either through uh, skipping some data collection or uh, some chronograph error. I didn't, I didn't get every shot recorded. Uh, here's the Remington data. If you want to go back, you can pause the video and look at this in a little more detail. And again, 168 grain data. So the summary stats here. Here's the the difference between the the shorter barreled gun and the Savage gun on the on the average the average string of each the difference and you can see here and then and then the average average difference so whatever that means so we're looking at 250 feet per second uh, on average between the 16 inch barrels and the 24 inch barrel uh, with a minimum of 213 and a maximum of 290 difference and then the average diff dis uh, velocity difference per inch so eight inches difference is 32 feet per second so that and that matches with uh, different gun books so let's see I'll talk about the rifles here real quick this is a left-handed Ruger gunsight scout I got it set up with a little Redfield 2 to 7 scope got a video on scopes on my channel uh, that's that's about a the biggest front lens that you can get without taking off the Picatinny rail. And this on the front end of this gun, instead of the standard Ruger flash hider, I got a Kais Blast Master, which is uh, type one one of the manu one of the manufacturers of a linear compensator. The idea being is to put a cone at the end of the muzzle so that all the recoil blast is directed downrange. Uh, away from the shooter and also away from people sit, uh, to the side of the gun. It uh, also slightly increases recoil. Here's the uh, Ruger Frontier Rifle. This is uh, pretty much a standard 
Ruger M77 Mark II compact rifle. The barrel's a little bit heavier than, uh, than your normal compact rifle, and it's got a number Ruger number one scope rib mounted just forward of the receiver. So unlike the Scout, uh, no iron sights and box magazine. The stock is uh, a little bit more rigid and a little bit lighter. So uh, again, this 16-inch barrel, which is comparable to the uh, gun sight Scout. And then the longer barrel gun, this is the other, only other 308 I had access to. 24 inch barrel, this is Savage FLCPK, uh, one of the police rifles. Uh, it's the left handed equivalent to the Savage FCPK. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up. If you liked the video, uh, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, thanks for watching.